Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday. So it's weigh in day, we're gonna talk about my week, we're going to talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload new videos five times per week and Friday is always weigh in day. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching, Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. Again, that is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things are also down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, my way in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a really good week. I had an interesting week, but I had a really, really good week filled with lots of fun activities, lots of friends, and lots of eating out. So we're gonna talk all about it. Like I mentioned in last week's weigh in, I was up on the scale for the last couple of weeks. And last week I was actually on my monthly cycle when I weighed in, which could be part of why I saw the scale go up just a tiny bit last week. Well, this week I finished out my cycle, thank goodness. But what typically happens with me is once I finish my cycle and I begin to go into my ovulation, that my weight typically really spikes on the scale. And that's what happened again this week. So early in the week, I was up about three pounds on the scale. And I was up about three pounds for seven several days and I was wondering what's going on with my body? What is happening? So I looked at the app that I track my cycle in and sure enough, we were entering ovulation. Once my ovulation is over or even towards the tail end of it, my weight will kind of stabilize itself out again. But it's really important again to know your body so that you don't freak out when you see a two or three pounds sudden weight gain. So that was interesting the first part of the week. I also find that when I'm in ovulation, I'm a little bit more fatigued and tired and kind of a little bit more grumpy. I kind of have the same symptoms that I do with PMS or when I'm on my cycle. So the first part of the week was a little bit more challenging. I still was able to get in all of my activity this week. I did all of my workout, which was great because this last weekend, like I mentioned, I had a weekend packed with eating out. I actually ate out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, it was my friend Melissa's 40th birthday luncheon with some of the girls from boot camp. So I ate out for lunch. Saturday was my boot camp girls night. So I ate out for dinner. And then Sunday was my friend Melissa's, the same one that I went to lunch with on Friday. It was her surprise 40th birthday. So I ate out then. I even had the most delicious slice of birthday cake. The cake was exceptional. I ate the entire slice and I'm not at all mad about it. So I spent a lot of time eating out over this last weekend. So this week I really focused on just getting back to my normal food, trying to regulate things, no more eating out the rest of the week and just making sure I'm getting in my protein, getting in my fiber and moving my body. And of course, drinking my water to kind of flush out all of the fun that I had over the weekend. We are actually technically eating out tonight. My friend Melissa, the same one that had the 40th birthday, invited us over to their house for a little game night tonight and we're ordering pizza. So I'm going to do my typical pizza hack where I eat one full slice of pizza and then I take all the toppings off the second slice and eat that. That's a great way for me to make sure I'm getting in a lot of protein, but still enjoying pizza and not being the weird one who doesn't eat pizza on pizza game night. And then on Sunday, I'm actually running a 5K. We have a big Cinco de Mayo 5K coming up this weekend. So I'm going to be running that. So that's going to be really fun. Another way to get in some activity. And I'm really just going to focus this next week on whole real food. I do have my 30 year high school reunion this summer. I can't believe that I'm old enough to be out of high school for 30 years. I really would like to go to my reunion. It is one night. It's a Friday night, so and it is in Spokane, Washington, where Troy and I moved from. That's also where my mom lives. So I am at this time tentatively planning on attending my reunion. I have booked my flight. I have booked my rental car. My mom does not drive, so she does not have a car. So I booked all of that. I made sure that both of those things were refundable because everything hinges on my sweet girl back there and depending on how healthy she is. But at this time, I would really like to attend my reunion. I'll fly in on Thursday, I'll fly home on Saturday. Quick, simple trip. I would like to see all my friends from high school and I would like to really just reconnect with people that I haven't seen for several years. So with my high school reunion, potentially coming up in July, I am going to go on a mini cut. Now I did a cut at the beginning of the year, 
When we do a cut, we basically are in a caloric deficit. We should not be in a caloric deficit all year long. We should be in a caloric deficit for a very small amount of time. So working with Kayleen, with my co-pilot, my co-pilot coach, co-pilot is the app that I use for my strength training workouts. I have a coach through co-pilot who offers me not only workouts, but nutrition. I've been talking with Kayleen and we've decided on a caloric deficit, a minor caloric deficit for the next eight weeks starting, that started May 1st. So for the month of May and the month of June, I'm going to be in a mini cut. Now I will link Copilot down below for you. It's with a free 14 day trial. You have to try it out. If you've never worked out, it's perfect for you. If you're an avid strength trainer or you want to change up your workouts or get nutrition advice, definitely check out Copilot. It's amazing and you can try it for free for 14 days. So I've been working with her. I now have a new calorie goal, a new protein goal. And like I said, I'm going to be in a very minor, minor, minor deficit. I'm going to have a pretty balanced protein and carbohydrate goal and a pretty moderate fat goal. My body likes carbohydrates and I think it's because I'm so active and I do have quite a bit of lean muscle. So my body just thrives on protein and carbs and a moderate fat diet. So when I say mild deficit, I mean mild. I'm only lowering my calories about 300 per day, which should lead to a little bit of weight loss, fat loss, leaning out for my reunion. And I told Kayleen specifically that I don't even care necessarily what the scale says. I just want to focus on leaning down a little bit, just building that lean muscle and being stronger and fitter by my reunion. Now, eight weeks is about the amount of time that you should be in a caloric deficit, eight to 12 weeks. So I'm going to try this for the eight week period. Let's see how it goes. You guys will know because I'll update you on how I'm feeling, my measurements, and of course my weight loss every single week. So that's a big change that started on Wednesday of this week. So far, everything's going really, really well. I'm actually feeling really good in a little bit of a calorie deficit. It's definitely helping me choose more whole real foods because I don't have as many calories every single day. So I need to really get the biggest bang for my calorie buck. And I do have a pretty high protein goal to meet daily as well, even with less calories. So far, it's been going really good and I have Kayleen's support, which is also amazing. My workouts are remaining the same. The only thing that may change is I may do a little bit more cardio. I do have my little stair stepper here at my house and I really, really love it. I've been using it quite regularly. I use it while I watch TV. I use it while I watch YouTube. So it's been a really good way to get in just a few extra steps, a little bit more cardio. So I'll link my little stair stepper down below for you. Super affordable off of Amazon. So, so far things are going really well. I'm excited to share with you the results of the eight week cut. And if you're interested in a cut yourself, that is something that I offer. I have eight week and 12 week cut programs. I'll actually put all of the information down in the description box for you. So overall, things are going really well. I'm actually excited to see what happens over the next eight weeks. And of course, I'll keep you updated. Before we talk about my weigh-in, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to make healthy eating more exciting. Dinners at your favorite restaurant, brunch with your family on the weekend, lots of engagements and birthday parties. Some meals just feel and hit a little bit differently. There's some things that you can do even when you're having healthy meals to make them as exciting as going out with your friends and family. Number one, make your meal sound delish. Call it something you'd order from a restaurant. It's not just salad. It's a crisp spring veggies tossed with juicy chicken, egg crumbles, and a bright lemony vinaigrette. Number two, set the table and set the scene. Break out the nice dishes, cloth napkins, and background music. Plate your meal as if you were going to photograph it. And number three, savor the experience. Sit and eat slowly and mindfully, focusing on your food and company, not TV or TikTok. We can make home healthy meals as exciting as going out to eat. I do this pretty regularly. I like to put my meal on a nice plate, even if it's a simple breakfast or lunch. I like to garnish my food with pretty garnishes. I light a candle. I sit down and really just savor and enjoy my meal. Eating mindfully is really beneficial for weight loss. And just because we're eating at home doesn't mean it can't be as exciting as eating out. But what's better about eating at home is we have full control over what's in our meals, how many calories, fat, carbohydrates, we're consuming. So eating meals at home can be just as exciting 
and even more healthy than going out to eat. We know the bottom line is our routine meals and snacks keep us on track. That's what helps us actually lose and maintain our weight loss. But thinking just a little bit differently about them can make them more exciting again. When we eat the same foods, we do the same exercise, we do the same things day to day, it gets a little bit monotonous and it loses its excitement. And therefore we can even lose our motivation for our weight loss journey. So by keeping things exciting and making eating at home just as exciting as going out can really help your weight loss journey overall. I really like this topic. I think it's important to make the meals at home as exciting as the meals out. And we know that eating at home as often as possible is what's most beneficial for our health and wellness journey. So now let's jump in to my weigh-in. Like I said at the beginning of the week, my weight was like this because of ovulation. That of course leveled out about midweek. On Wednesday, I started my cut. So I actually went into a deficit from maintenance. So when I'm not in a cut, I'm in maintenance. I'm eating at maintenance. When I'm in a cut, I'm eating at a little bit of a calorie deficit. So when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually down 0.4 pounds. That's really good for me, especially with just a few days of being in a caloric deficit and making up for the little bit of weight fluctuation that happened earlier in the week. So being down 0.4 makes me really happy. It basically means that I lost that fluctuation I saw on the scale last week. So that's a great start to an eight week cut. Again, I'll put all of the information for my cut services down below for you. I offer eight week and 12 week. They come with coaching, macros, nutrition, exercise, everything that you need. And you can again, pair that with the Copilot app if you're interested or even any exercise that you're currently doing. So I'll put all the cut information down below, but I'm feeling really, really really good rounding out the first half of a week of my eight week cut. So we'll see what happens over the next few weeks. And I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about making your dinners at home as exciting as eating out? How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Do you go in phases of cut and maintenance? Let me know everything down below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you're not turn your bell on because I upload new videos every, I do do, I do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for all of the cut information, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Have an amazing, amazing day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.